We told you about the Lynette Barracks airstrip, be airstrip being transformed into an airport within three months. And now the Nakuru governor, Liki Nyandri, is back again in our news. And uh, his county leaders berated his leadership style and his handling of county affairs in pursuit of city status. Bridget Ngana reports on the intrigues that might cost the governor a second term in office. <laughs> The groundbreaking ceremony of the upcoming airport at the Lanet Barracks in Nakuru brought to the fore the prolonged yet subtle supremacy battles between Governor Lee Kinyanjui and Nakuru Senator Susan Kihika when some members of parliament took the opportunity to criticize his handling of county affairs. Hamuta chukua watoto mukatupe kwa mustuni ili museme the city is clear so you get city status. We shall hold you to account. Pia tunasema hamuta toa matatu nakuru town kiunyama at so that the city can be told it's clean and now it's ready for city starters. So what we are saying to watch a unyama my friends. This public attack coming barely a week since the governor asked for the support of the senate leadership in the development of the municipality despite a senate committee recommending that the county's city status process be suspended due to the human rights violation claims against the Nakuru County government when more than 40 homeless people were dumped at a forest in Baringo County in February 2019. Don't be a one man show. You can't go far. You can go fast alone, but you can go very far together. Kulingana na mipango na desturi za kijeshi, maswala ya siyasa haizungumuzi in a military facility. So even for me, I cannot comment on anything political. Na waomba tafadhali, tusiangalie tu hapa na sasa. The Nakuru Senator Susan Kihika is an ally of the Deputy President and is a front runner in contesting for the gubernatorial seat come 2022, even as Governor Lee Kinyanjui rides on his delivery of a Nakuru city as his ticket for a second term. Bridget Ghana, NTV, Nakuru.